Now let's answer this 10 items age problems. If ever hindi nyo pa nasagutan ito, just uh, post every item and then answer them first before you will see our solutions. Number one, Randy age, Randy's age after 15 years will be five times his age five years back. What is the present age of Randy? Isaisahin natin to. Let A be the age of Randy at present. So Randy age, Randy's age after 15 years will be means equal to five times. His age five years back. So, his age five years back. So, ito na yung equation natin. Nakabuo na tayo na equation. Isolve na lang natin. And this is a plus 15 equals, i-multiply mo yan, 5a. And i-multiply mo din to, that is negative 25. I-add ang mga like terms, ipagsama ang mga like terms. And that is 15 plus 25, kasi itong 25 na to, uh, tinatranspose mo sa kabila, kaya naging positive. And this is 5a minus a, kasi ito ay transpose mo din sa kabila, kasi pagsama mo ang mga like terms. And then, 15 plus 25, and that is, uh, wait, huh, th 40. And this is 5a minus a, 4a. Para ma-isolate si a dyan, mag-divide tayo ng 4 sa both sides. So, 40 divided by 4, that is 10. Meaning, ang age ni Randy at present is 10 years. So, letter C ang sagot. Number 2. The ratio between the present ages of Andy and Brian is 6 is to 7. If Brian is 4 years old than Andy, what will be the ratio of the ages of Andy and Brian after 4 years? Let's make this ratio in such a way, itong 6 is to 7 na 4 years ang gap. Itong 6 and 7, gap is 1 year. 1 year. 7 minus 6. 1 year ang gap nito. So, we need to multiply these numbers to make a gap of 4 years. That means, i-multiply natin sila ng 4. Kasi 1 year man yan. Para maging 4 years. This is 24 and this is 28. So, ang gap nila ay 4 years na. That means, these are their present age. The question is, what will be the ratio of the, of the ages of Andy and Brian after 4 years? So, we will add 4 years to their present age. Balito, plus 4, plus 4, and it will be 28 and 32. So, ito na yung ages nila after 4 years. Now, the question is, ang ratio nila. So, we will find the greatest common factor nito, which is 4. 28 divided by 4, and that is 7. 32 divided by 4, and that is 8. So, the new ratio now is 7 is to 8. Letter A. Number 3. Ages of two persons differ by 16 years. If 6 years ago, the elder one be 3 times as old as the younger one. Find their present age. Let's do the table. Ito si younger and the older. Then, present, present, let y be the age of the younger at present. So, si older differ by 16 years. So, y plus 16. In, uh, if 6 years ago, 6 years ago, that means minus 6. Elder 1 be 3 times as old as the younger ones. 6 years ago, so younger is y minus 6. 3 times as old as the younger one, that is 3 y minus 6. So our equation will be y plus 16 minus 6. This one minus 6, so that it will be equal to 3 times this y minus 6. So, this will be our equation. 
So, ito na yung isolve natin. 16 minus 6, that is 10, equals 3y, and 3 times negative 6, that is negative 18. Now, ipagsama natin yung mga like terms, and that is 10 because this negative 18 will become positive 18 when we transfer it to the other side. 3y minus y because this positive y will become negative y if we transfer it to this side. Now we can add this 10 plus 18 that is 28. 3y minus y and that is 2y. Then it transposed this 2 to the other side by dividing both by 2. So 28 divided by 2 and that is 14. So, y is equals to 14. That means, si younger, ang edad ni younger is 14 years old. At si older, 14 plus 16, 30 si older. So, their ages are 14 and 30. So, the answer is letter B. Number 4. The sum of the ages of a father and a son is 45 years. Five years ago, the product of their ages was four times the father's age at that time. So the question is, what are the present ages of father and the son? Let's do the table. Let's put it in table first. Father, son, present age, let F be the father's age and S be the son's age. So, F plus S is equals to 45. Five years ago, that means minus 5. So, five years ago, F minus 5, S minus 5. The product means you multiply this to the product of their ages was four times the father's age at that time. Four times of F minus Five. So our equation will be f minus 5 times s minus 5 equals 4 f minus 5. Ipagsama natin yung mga like terms, which is ito siya, pareho sila. So what we will do is, i-divide natin ang both sides ng f minus 5 f minus 5. So, makancel out na si f minus 5. Natira na lang is s minus 5 equals 4. Para ma-isolate si s dyan, i-transpose natin si negative 5 to the other side which will become positive 5. So, s is equals to 4 plus 5, 9. So, ang edad ni son ay 9 years old. The sum of their ages, fa father plus son equals 45. The value of S or the age of the son is 9 years old. So we will find for the father's age. So para ma-isolate si father dyan, itong 9, itranspose natin sa kab kabila, which makes it 14, 5 minus 9, and that is 36. So ang edad ni father ay 36, si son naman ay 9. So the answer is letter C. Number 5. Ten years ago, Paul was half of Queenie in age. If the ratio of their present ages is 3 is to 4, what will be the total of their present ages? So, see si Paul, let be their, his present age as 3x. Saka si Queenie, 4x naman ang present age niya. Ten years ago, see si Paul, 3x minus 10. Saka si Queenie, 4x minus 10. Paul was half of Queenie in age. So, kung i-divide mo itong edad ni Queenie by 2, half man, pariho na siya ng equivalent na siya ni Paul, which is the 3x minus 10 will be equivalent to 4x minus 10 divided by 2. So, ito na yung equation natin. To solve this one, i-transpose muna natin itong 2 dito. And that will be 2 times 3x minus 10 equals 4x minus 10. Meaning, kung i-twice mo ang edad ni Paul, it will be equal to Queen's age. Then, let's solve this one. 2 times 3x, that is 6x. And 2 times 
negative 10 and that is negative 20 equals 4x minus 10. So, ipagsama ang mga like terms, 6x minus 4x, kasi ito, pag tinatransfer to the other side, it will become negative 4x, equals negative 10 plus 20, because this negative 20, when we will transfer it to the other side, it will become positive 20. Now, 6x minus 4x, that is 2x, then negative 10 plus 20, and that is 10. So, x is equals to 5 because we divide both sides by 2 to cancel out 2 here. But I isolate say x and it will be 10 divided by 2 and that is 5. So, the equivalent of x or the value of x here is 5. So, 3 times 5 equals 15. 4 times 5 equals 20. The question is, what will be the total of their present ages? So, we total natin to 15 plus 20, and that is 35. So, the answer is letter A, 35.